types of people in this world, right? The old joke, you know, those that divide the world into two types of people and those that don't. Um, and, but to me, there's two types of people. There are creators. There we go. There are creators. You guys in this room, those that are that are, are are creating productivity, that are writing code, that are doing things that are productive for the economy. There's designers. There's chip designers. There's Hackers, right? Programmers, espresso and, uh, and concentrate into the bloodstream, right? Like this guy who was annoyed that his picture was taken. And if you turn to the right, you know, you see uh, uh, an office that looks like that. I'm sure you guys have walked by offices or have an office that looks like Th these are the creators. These are the, these are the scary as it sounds. Th this is this is where productivity solutions uh, start. And then there's uh, drug designers or pharmaceutical or medical devices that keep people alive longer. These are the ones that are creating productivity solutions. Unfortunately, it's a small number compared to the rest of the economy because the rest of the economy are servers. They're not the ones creating productivity. They're the ones just servicing those that do. So they're servers. Now, I, you know, I'm gonna pick on the food service business, although I will, um, but you know, servers like that and that and that, right? You can see the guy's hand reaching and there's one creator in this picture and just, you know, gobs and gobs of, of servers dishing up gruel to the economy. And, and I think the task is, is to figure out how to enhance the person on the creative side and automate all those things from, uh, from the left going back. So what I've done is I've We've got creators and we've got servers, but even servers is too simple, right? It, it, it's, it needs to be broken down further. And so what I've done is divided the servers into uh, a bunch of different types. So there's, there's servers, there's sloppers, there's super sloppers, there's sponges, there's slimers, and there's thieves. That's it. I mean, I could stop right here, right? You guys know what those mean. Well, let's dig under the covers. Servers. Nice guy, talks. Okay, when we think of servers, food service anyway, we think, of, uh, we think of someone like this. You know, those jobs, think about it, that's a, a much more automated task than it used to be in the past because of the, the cash register and whatever else. You know, we try to automate the food service business with uh, Horn and Hardock. I don't know if everyone's been to that. I, I have in, uh, in New York City years and years back, but that, that's probably not the right solution. Drive-throughs, that's a much better solution for automating that food service business. Uh, manufacturing. We got rid of those jobs because, you know, there's only so much productivity. In fact, there's a great economics lesson in this, uh, this Lucy episode because the way that they increased productivity is they just kept sending the little bonbons down the thing faster. They hit them in their hats and ate them, et cetera, et cetera. We took those jobs and we moved them elsewhere. But they're the same jobs, right? It, it moved to, uh, it moved to, uh, to China and, and elsewhere, and you've got the same assembly lines. Notice they don't let anyone wear hats in that factory, right? So they can't shove the GI Joes uh, uh, under their hats or eat them. But again, it's, it's, it's productivity by, by lowering the cost, certainly cheaper labor, where uh, um, you know, it, it's not an expense on the economy. And, and we've taken that and we've multiplied that by millions, right? There's millions of people that, that do those jobs, but mostly outside of this country. What have we replaced them with was you know, similar looking things with cubicles, right? It's, it's, we've we've, we've um, had some automation or at least some lower cost uh, labor and manufacturing moved it away and we've replaced it with um, a, a sort of a less, or, or, or a, a segment of the service economy that is due for a productivity wave. And uh, uh, these cubicles make me nervous, right? The, you know, the service jobs are in dumpsters because they're the ones that are going to be defragged. So let's go through some of the service jobs that have been destroyed over the last however many years. Uh, not too many are old enough to remember 45s, but you know that guy who was the clerk at the record store, we don't know what he had in that pipe. Uh, <laughs> But that job is completely gone, let alone the, the 45s. Wolfman Jack, WNBC in, uh, in New York, that job is gone. Replaced by a simple piece of code, right? Uh, you know, you're your own, uh, you pick your own records and, you, and you're your own DJ. Similar here, right? We have uh, telephone operators and the supervisor. I love the supervisor that just stands there and sort of watches all the, the workers. We got rid of all of them and replaced it with someone, you know, two people, a person that designed, a board, a telephone system on a chip, 
and the person that maintains it. These are servers, you know, th these were servers that we got rid of. Again, these are the easy ones. Tellers are now ATM machines. Uh, secretaries are gone, replaced by Word. Librarians are gone, replaced by Google. Although I once had a thought that at Google there really were 10,000 you know, khaki clad librarians looking stuff up for you in, in uh, you know, 14 nanoseconds, but it turns out that that's not the case. Um, postal workers, sorting. I mean, we only see the, the poor postal delivery person, you know, in rain, sleet, or snow, but the, the worst jobs in the world, and very high paid, by the way, are the ones sitting there, you know, sorting the mail, and they still get it wrong. And all that, you can replace it. You know, there's a monopoly on first class delivery, but you know, I, I consider uh, email and Twitter and, there I said it again, um, all those things, you, you can, you know, there are billions and billions of messages that go flying around every day that can, sooner than later, just, just destroy all the jobs that are not particularly good jobs and are very unproductive jobs in that back office. And then, of course, there's this guy who has been obsoleted. Um, people always look at him, what do you mean, Paul Simon, how is he obsolete? Well, Mama took his... Kodachrome away, right? And that's gone. Film developers are gone and replaced it with electronic. And it, 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 got, it got better. Okay, so these are the easy ones. We all know about these. But when you're trying to find, you know, where the next great opportunities are, where the next great investments are, and where wealth is created, you, you kind of got to dig a little deeper. So a subset of the server category are sloppers. And sloppers, to me, are those that don't add any value to anything. They just take things from one side of the room and move it to the other side of the room. And, and the world is filled with them. And we can get rid of not all of them, but most of them. And, and, and squeezing productivity out of these sloppers, I think, is, is a very important wave that's taking on. Uh, I use the mop because it rhymes with slop. But you know, anyone who mops the floor usually just moves the dirt from one side of the room to the other. Um, in the old days, we had we unloaded ships, cargo from ships, stevedores, longshoremen, right? They did nothing. They walked into the ship, they picked up a box, they moved it to the other side of the room. In San Francisco, you know, this is, this is how it was, was all done. The port of San Francisco along the Embarcadero, right? It's filled with piers. I mean, th that's just how, how things were done for, for decades and decades. And then the San Francisco port workers, the longshoremen, went out on strike. They go, we're not getting paid enough. So rather than give in and pay them higher wages, which eventually would have, would have forced change anyway, the port of Oakland opened up with container ships, right? Where, where you just uh, you drop containers in and you pick them off and you, with a crane, right? One guy can sit there. It was a piece, simple piece of technology that obsoleted stevedores and, and longshoremen, at least at the, at the docks. And of course, you know, the port of Oakland went on strike because they didn't want uh, barcodes and barcode readers in the port of Oakland. Well, you know, how, how long do you think that was going to last? Um, and, and so the, 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 the fighting of the change of, of uh, getting rid of these slopper jobs is going to go on and on, but technology will come along and get rid of them. 